And what is going on, everybody? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Uh, today is June fourteenth, and I also have a brand new. I guess they're calling it X series Intel Core i seven unlocked i seven sixty eight fifty K LGA twenty eleven V three socket, baby. This is what it looks like in the back. Um, I'm probably gonna have to open this up and show you what it looks like. Now, the reason why I have this, this is really isn't gonna be too much of just a product opening or any of that stuff. It's really just an explanation of why we would use something like this. This is the new X99 uh, hex core processor from Intel. It's on the new uh, Broadwell E uh, chipset, sorry, socket. And uh, it's on the 2011 V3, has hair in my mouth, 2011 V3. Uh, <clears throat> chipset and uh, this uh, processor is really useful if you're going to be doing like a few things really only like generally if you're buying a new gaming PC we're talking really only about gaming and streaming PCs right now if you're going to be buying a gaming PC uh, you really only need something that's going to have a quad core and you want those cores to be clocked as high as possible now this theoretically wouldn't be the most optimal uh, GPU or sorry CPU for video gaming generally most video games can't take advantage of multi-core processing uh, and if they do they're limited to some degree so four cores usually is just fine as it is however I'm a content creator I want to put stuff on YouTube I want to put stuff on Twitch I want to put stuff on Twitch live I want to put stuff on YouTube live so we have these two extra cores here on the hex core and that's going to help distribute some of the processing power that the computer is going to be doing while we're playing video games and streaming at the same time. So now this core specifically goes from 3.6 to 3.8 uh, with a turbo boost. Uh, you'll notice that uh, most i7s right now that you'll be hearing about the Devil's Canyon or the uh, 6800K, or sorry 6700K, uh, those will all be Excuse me. Those will all be uh, uh, tuning up to about 4.0 gigahertz, and then they can they can uh, you can overclock them further. Um, those are base clock, I think. Sorry, base clock is 4.0, or is it 3.0 turbo boost of 4.0, and then you can overclock them. Regardless, they use they have 4.0 in on the chip, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that higher uh, uh, pre-clock essentially, and that just means generally that the 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 the, the CPU is going to be able to go higher after you overclock it, and that's what we're doing with these CPUs. You don't buy a fucking i7 unlocked and no overclock it, okay? Don't give me that bullshit. I don't want to hear it anymore. Don't say, oh, I bought an i7 and we fucking put a stock cooler on it. Shut the fuck up, okay? Take your computer and go fucking return it. I don't want to hear your bullshit. Okay, my rant's over now. But anyway, so this processor is, uh, is really awesome. And like I said, it's gonna be for streaming and gaming at the same time. Now, a lot of other people, what they'll be doing is they'll be using uh, two pro they'll be using two computers. They'll be streaming on one computer, and they'll be streaming off the. Uh, they'll be using like a, one computer to actually be running the games, and then the other computer they'll have probably a not as powerful processor running on that one. That one will just be using a capture card, and that'll be ga uh, like directly capturing the game output. Uh, from uh, from the main gaming computer. In that case, you usually be using a Devil's Canyon and something less than that. But in this case, I only have one computer. I'm gonna be rocking one, six cores. This goes up to 3.8 gigahertz. And now we're gonna be boosting this probably up to 4.3, 4.4. 4. Um, it's the new 14 nanometer uh, process, FinFET nanometer process, and that's really why we got this. We also had the 5930K about a couple weeks ago on a different machine. Um, that machine was producing a lot of heat, especially for the the, uh, the heat sink we had on it. Unfortunately, we're not able to use a larger heat sink, so what we did was actually just return it. Um, now, on top of that, this should be producing a little bit less heat, and we also have now a larger heat sink to be doing everything. So, hopefully this will be working out alright, and this should be, be able to record the Vive, HTC Vive, and the... Um, and be able to stream it on OBS at the same time on Twitch and perhaps uh, YouTube also simultaneously. I'd like to be doing a simulcast, however, the software wasn't really there right currently. So with through time, I'll be producing some more content. If you guys are interested in the HTC, HTC Vive, definitely check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Sorry again, this really isn't much of an unboxing video. You guys know what the fuck's in here, right? I'll, I'll just pop it open real quick if I can. Oops, I just ripped that open. There goes the original packaging. And that's how you open up a box, you just rip it open. And so, official unboxing from Uncle Muscles. I'm about to throw this thing out. There you go, that's that. 
awesome core I said oh did they upgrade that I think they made a new sticker on that and then here we go this is the uh, this okay also sorry I didn't forget didn't mention this I probably should have mentioned this the reason why we're going with the hex core also is because it has or sorry the x99 chipset is because it has 40 lanes and I'll be running a dual GPU setup and the reason why it has 40 lanes is to give maximum uh, bandwidth from the PCIe slots to oh shit that was open already to this to the to the CPU that's the CPU, that's my Intel Core i7, 6850K. Um, it's got 40 lanes, so we can put in two 1080, uh, uh, GTX 1080s and run the HTC Vive flawlessly, flawless fucking s -ly. And uh, yeah, so that's the whole idea here, guys. So if you guys are interested in streaming, if you guys are interested in uh, playing games at max, max fucking settings, ultra that shit, PC Master Race that motherfucker, Welcome thy brethren. If you guys are trying to play video games like seriously, hardcore, and try to stream at the same time, definitely consider the Intel i7 processor. Also, I want to just quickly mention that um, I picked this up two weeks ago. I put in an order for this on Amazon on June 1st. It got here exactly two weeks later, or roughly 13 days, I guess, uh, on July or June 14th. Okay, it says they have a two to four week waiting period when you buy them on Amazon. I can't find this processor for $628 anywhere else. So I actually saved, I don't know, a little bit less than 25 bucks because they're basically selling for about 650 or more at certain areas. So guys, there'll be a link at the bottom of the description if you guys are interested in buying the new i7. Uh, I'll put it, I'll put a link there for you guys on Amazon. Definitely, 628 guys. 620 fucking eight. Okay, it was expensive. But that's what I do for you guys. That's what I do because I love you guys. And I hope you guys love me back. And I will make love with you guys over the internet and through other mediums if you guys let me. So. Anyway, everybody, have a good one. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I hope you guys love me as much as I love you. And please check out my stream, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Check out my YouTube, youtube.com slash C slash YouTube. That's what you're watching right now, most likely. And then also excuse the uh, obsessive or the, uh, not obsessive, but the um, unnecessary profanity and uh, excitement. That's just part of my personality. I like to do these all in one take. So if I left anything out, uh, definitely let me know in the comments how much of an idiot I sound like. If you guys like the video and like the fact that I didn't even actually really unbox this and then I just ripped up the box, definitely hit that like button. Don't forget to follow me and I love all you guys. Sorry I made this video eight minutes for no freaking reason. I literally just stared at this the whole time. Anyway guys, check out OBS with this processor and put yourself on Twitch. And if you have any questions about any of that stuff, like how to set up your own stream and whatnot, you can also put that in the comments below. Um, and I have nothing else to say, so let's ramble, 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 tins. Bye, guys.